Okay, real quick, let's talk cleaning uh, saw blades and bits. So it's time for me to clean my blades and my bits. And whether you know it or you don't, it's important to clean these things occasionally to remove all the built up resin and pitch that the blades edges get. Uh, you know, when you build up too much of that stuff, it makes it so the blade appears dull when it's cutting. Uh, it makes your table saw work harder. It makes for a more dangerous cut. So by occasionally cleaning all this off, it's actually making for a safer cut. And up until now, I've been using probably the same thing most of you guys use. It's just an old pan, some wire brushes, and some cleaner. I'd throw my blade in there, I'd soak it down, and I'd have to wire brush the thing, right? Well now, thanks to the geniuses over at Microjig, they came out with this new blade cleaning system. So, for this system, it comes with this magnetic handle for grabbing your blade off of the arbor, putting it in and mixing it up. A wire brush. It has a separate compartment for your router bits here. So you can put five router bits in there at once. And then it also comes with some scuffing pads for the router bits. But on the inside here, what I thought was cool is so they have this just this giant 3M pad, but instead of like my old pan system where I'd soak it down and I'd scrub it and then what, what do I do with it? I, I'd waste away whatever cleaner I was using. This actually has a seal around it. So after you clean your blade and your cleaning solution is still good for the most part, you can just seal this back up on both parts seal and store it until the next time so let's walk through how it works okay so you do need quite a bit of cleaning solution for this thing you do need about two to two and a half quarts but the easiest thing you can do is just buy some simple grain and dilute it simple grain concentrate it works as a great cleaning solution you can pretty much use any cleaning solution you want really just don't use something like oven degreaser or anything so first thing you do is you open up your little router bit area and this has a fill line in there so you're just going to use your solution pour it in there up to the fill line and then i'm just going to go ahead and pop some router bits in there right now. I'm curious if this one's even going to fit. Let's see. Cool. Fits. So I'm just going to pop some router bits in there and then take that off, set it to the side, and then you can pour your remaining out of the two to two and a half quarts of cleaning solution into the main cleaning area. Bam. In here, so you just take it onto your blade right in the center. You drop your blade in there and you just let it soak for around 30 60 seconds and after it soaks you're just going to take it and you're going to turn it the opposite direction that the blade would normally cut in okay so we let this soak for about a minute then you just do a quick turn go ahead and let all that excess run off stick it on your towel Then you're just going to flip the blade. Back in. And you shouldn't have to let this soak now because the blade was soaking already. And then just go ahead and take that off. And then if you want to do the edges here, you're just going to do the same thing, but just opposite of how the blade normally cuts on the scouring pad. I'm going to give that another little turn. And 
Bam. Get our next blade in. All right, now with the blades clean, I can go back to the routers. You know, I can just throw this back on there. Seal that up. My cleaning solution is going to be good till next time. My router bits, just pop that out. And like I said, they have these discs that you can hook up to like a Dremel tool. Or you can just sit here with the wire brush real quick and just knock that stuff off. And then I have a bunch of bits. So after I'm done with these, I'm just going to load it up and keep cleaning. Cool, so there you go. Record time for getting all the bits and the blades cleaned. And like I said, super cool thing about this is everything just goes together. Cleaning solution stays in and then it seals up and then you can just put this somewhere out of the way. Pretty cool if you ask me. Uh, definitely helps, speeds up the process. It can clean blades up to 12 inches, so it should have most of your blades covered. Uh, if you're interested, I'll put a link uh, for 20% off of any micro jig products. Uh, just follow that link and let me know what you think. All right, thanks guys.